Welcome back to Conway Disappearance at Dolly of You. I'm Super Majin Kev. You know who it is. And if you don't, hit the follow button, have notifications on, share the stream. You know what I mean? Now, if you're a very attentive viewer, you may notice that there is a little change in the audio department. Most uh, having to do with my voice. Now, um, if you're watching the VOD, go ahead and skip it. Um, go ahead and skip the intro if you don't care. But um, basically, during the Dying Light era of the channel, I just had one day where everything just went wrong. Um, my mic broke. Uh, I, my game in the actual Dying Light, my, my Dying Light save file fucking deleted itself. It was just a bad, bad Easter. It was very unfortunate. And as you may have noticed, I said that the, my mic broke. And what that mean what that meant was um ever since that day my microphone has been it's been all over the place. Like I there has been more noise background noise being captured. Like it just I I could not even begin to explain to you what happened to my microphone cuz I don't even fucking know half of it. Like my microphone was fine up until that point. Um like, all of a sudden that day, the more background noise, my voice sounds a little different on the microphone. It, it was just bad. It was just bad. And I'm, I've been trying to configure, like, the I've been trying to, like, scratch my head around how do I make my mic go back to how it sounded. It will never be the way how, it will never be the way that it was before. Be because for some reason, when I try to factory reset the microphone now, it just goes back to the shitty state that it was. I don't know what happened. Like, my microphone... I, I don't even think my microphone, how I had it before, is how it naturally sounded. But it sounded good for me. I don't know. But basically, I have a compressor on right now. Me and a compressor... My voice and a compressor effect is like oil and water. It just doesn't mix. For some odd reason, it just does not mix. Um, I just sound terrible with the compressor, but, um, I'm hoping I sound okay. I probably should have waited to test this out, th these new mic settings, on a new Let's Play, on a new game, but here we are. So, anyways, back to, uh, Conway, disappearance at Daily of You, Dolly of You, however you want to pronounce it. Um, I am assuming, I am predicting that we're going to finish this game today. Um... And it will be a short stream if that's the case. I don't think we have that much of the game left. But um, I think once I press continue, it's going to play the cutscene that was left that we last saw on the last session. But uh, I want to... We might as well just watch it again as a recap. Now, going one, one last thing about the mic setting. The main reason why I wanted to fix my mic was because... It kind of... It reset itself where it needed a compressor. Like... When I was talking very low, it the the it wouldn't it would be very low, right? Before it would be okay. Like it had its own compressing thing going on, but I don't know, man. Anyways, let's continue. <laughs> I wish I could make Catherine understand my actions. Every time I try, I either embarrass her or myself. There's always a cost. I'm going to have to go back and review this footage for the audio. It's going to be interesting for sure. Last think... night, my neighbors watched in merriment as Catherine had to rescue me from Lady Doa's basement. If the bruises on my body are anything to go by, then I'm clearly making an impression on someone in daily view. I've lost too much to stop now. Will Catherine ever forgive me? Um, so my prediction for this disappearance of uh, Charlotte May is uh, I still think Shirley took her for whatever purpose. I have no idea, but I still think Shirley has her hostage because with the way the story is going, I mean, maybe that's what they want us to think. Hmm? Maybe that's... I didn't think about that. I still think she took the bitch. 
the kid, not the bitch. I still think the bitch took the kid. That's what I meant to say. Shirley is doing something in a safe. Nice assumption, sure. Conway. Real fucking nice. I might need a closer look. Are you serious? Mm, either way, uh, I can't see from here. Wait, what was that? My attacker fled this way last night. Oh. I wonder if the police even looked. I doubt they believed me. They treated me as if I was the suspect. Mr. Morgan, don't give up hope. I'm still looking. Looks like nobody's home. Most people are at Sunday service. I didn't peg Levy as the church-going type. Perhaps he's robbing the donation plate as we speak. Damn. Conway's perception of uh, Levy is just completely... He's just fucking evil, I guess. In his eyes. She's just sitting, smoking at the moment. Not really do. Hang on. Hmm? What? She's seen or heard something. Oh. She's. Uh, she's got a weapon. A candlestick. That's not going to do anything. I'm a little bit worried about our next segment because we got stuck on, uh, fuck, I forgot her name. The Grandma's Manor. We were stuck there for a hot minute, and, um, if I know how games are, they, they level up in terms of difficulty, so we might get stuck on this next segment for a while. I hope we don't. I hope we don't. What in God? Is there someone inside with her? My attacker? Something smashed. My attacker is in there as I speak. I hate how Conway just assumes shit. Like, fuck off. I hate that. I hate that so much. Oh, I didn't even check that. There might have been someone there. Shirley, don't do this alone. Trust me. I know how this ends. Turn around and leave. Shirley, be careful. Even if I leave now, I won't get to her in time. I wonder what Mr. Morgan's up to. Oh, why is it open? Um, she's still there. She's searched the whole place. It doesn't look like she's seen anyone. Hey, Switch, what up? I'm doing good, man. How are you? How's the weekend? Oh, it's the weekend, isn't it? Listen, I've been, uh, I may, I may or may not have slept for like 15 hours yesterday. <clears throat> yeah. She's leaving. Good. She's safe for now, at least. For some reason, I was just super tired yesterday. I don't know why. It must have been food coma. I don't remember eating that much. 
Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? So, me and the squad went out. We had Mexican food, right? I guess it was a lot of food at the time, but me being the fat ass that I was, I just ate it all up, right? I guess it didn't hit me until I got home. I fucking knocked the fuck out. Yeah, you know. No one has a clue what's happening. Even Tony Morgan. Uh, he's seen something. There was something in the alleyway. What? I'm sorry I haven't been streaming recently. I've been taking a lot of days off. Uh, and there's a reason for that. Simply because uh, me and AJ doesn't hang out that. God, she's been attacked. Be careful, Mr. Morgan. It might not be safe. I Me and AJ haven't been hanging out as much. The Anybody, and those were the kind of streams that were, you know, separating the single player stuff. But now... Uh, Mr. Morgan. But now that there's no more, like, Apex, no more, you know, just me and AJ streams, it's kind of me just doing single player stuff. And if I'm... If I stream every single day for 12 hours on end, right... You know how many games I can kill in a span of a month? I'm trying to like slow the fuck down. <laughs> you know, you take her to the hospital. I'll call the police. Which kind of sucks because I do want to stream, but I don't. There's no fucking. I no, might just stream time Poe or pass. something. Like I don't know. Maybe I can get into the crow's nest without anyone seeing me. It might be time to hit the I'll Riller trophies. Call the police when I'm good and ready. Oh, the game is great. Game is fucking great. Fantastic. I think I, I have a score in mind. But the story can always mess that up. Or it could increase it. Who knows? Who attacked us? And what did they leave behind? I saw those drinks on Discord. We going back, huh? How were they? They look good. Game seems kind of quiet. Oh, we never went this way before. Oh, this will be interesting. Wait, 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 wait. Can I go check out the McKees? Why are those trash cans so rusty now? What the fuck? Eh, it doesn't look like it. Fuck it, let's go. I like how he looks up. That's kind of cool. Well, this belongs to Shirley. It must have fallen off during the attack. I don't know why the game made it look like underwear. Like, look at this shit. Why is it shaped like underwear? Like, if you did not know any better... Fucking devs. Oh, wait. This must be the smash I heard. What kind of a coward attacks someone from behind? Um, okay.
Let's check the front door. We can knock on it? Should we? I thought I was meant to go over there in the garage. Are you still here? Um. Okay, let's back the fuck up a little bit, huh? Let's back up, back up. No, 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 no. Can I back up, please? Ah, oh, I want to check the garage, bro. Let's see. Let's see if we can check the garage. Oh my god, I'm all the way in the beginning of the game. Oh no, I'm not. Wait, that's just a. Never mind, hold on. Oh, thank God. Hello. Let's get it. Let's get it. Wait, what? See? I almost missed something over here, bro. Okay. I, what? All right, dude. Whatever. Whatever, man. I feel like there's, there should have been a little bit more of importance over there. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. Are you still here? Bro, I left what was going to be my drink in the mixer thing, right? And my dumbass spaced out and put the mixer thing in the sink before empty. Oh, no. Damn. That's big, Sag. <laughs> my dude was looking at the blender or whatever it is, the, the mixer thing. As he turned the sink on, it's like, oh, my drink is still it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> this is where Mr. Morgan and Theo joined the search. Okay. Okay, I thought that was going to make it easier to read, but no, it's not. Search meeting point. Charlotte May Morgan has been abducted from her home in Dahlia View. Register here to join the search. Pick up a pile of posters to hand out on the route to the search location. Search party briefing will take place in the main bar area. Oh, you got it? Okay, okay. That's good. Please still be alive. I'm not gonna read that. We've seen that flyer before. Bard means Bard. I'm glad I'm not on Shirley's bad side. Last orders will be at 10 p.m. If you break a dart or lose a snooker ball. What the fuck is a snooker ball? You will be charged for its replacement or Bard. It is not up to my staff to find you a taxi home because of your drunkenness. Think before you drink. Glasses let. Is that supposed to be a a pool billiard thing? It's not up to my staff to find you a taxi home because of your drunkenness. Think before you drink. Glasses left in the last order's bell will fall off when it rings. You will be charged for broken pint glasses. The toilet is for men and women. Please be respectful. Also, clean up after yourselves. Remember, bard means bard. Can I knock? Locked. Okay. All right, I'm assuming that door is open, so that's the way to go. Wait, I can't go there. I'm on a wheelchair. Idiot. I know you're in here. Anything over here? No. Snooker? That word would be way different if a couple letters would change. Ah, uh, shit. I know exactly the word you're, you're, you're uh, thinking about, Switch. And, it, you know, Swift might be one of those words. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, it's locked. Is anyone up there? Come down if you are. I sure as hell can't come up. I 
A knife? Swift's a cooker? Uh... I'm gonna have to say negative, because of her, uh... Dietary habits. Hello. You can't hide anymore. Damn, I didn't know she can cook a protein bar like that. That's fuck. That's that's crazy. Hmm. Well, she must have been cooking when the attacker arrived. Her foot must be part of the recipe. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh shit! I can't read that, bro. It's too bright. Wait. What? Is, is anyone here? I left! No. Well, at least I can look around without keeping an eye over my shoulder. There's a lot going on around Riverboard. The town's moving on. Hmm. Why would I need to interact with this? Oh. Okay. I'm trying so hard not to laugh because we got a baby in the house. Ah, oh, shit. That means you can't stream this weekend? Hello? The hello? There's nowhere to hide this time. Oh, Jesus. I suppose you think that was funny, jumping out at me like that. You have mm. no idea how close I was to... <laughs> talking to a bloody pigeon. Now, what am I going to call you? Useless? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, as an inside joke, we gotta go with useless. It's an inside joke. We gotta, we gotta go for useless. Useless. You don't say much, do you? So, useless. That's fucking canon. Shirley and I. Well, no, you're probably right. Anything else? I think I can, but I gotta try to stay quiet. Actually, I got this weekend, because, uh, next I'm going to Cali. Ah. Why can't I open this? There's no way I'm using this to open... That's what I thought. Nothing here. I'm not sure what I was expecting. Fuck, man, I gotta get a haircut soon. Yeah, it's all up to you, man. I, I am free whenever. Alright, we need another key. We're gonna need a lot of fucking keys up in this bitch. Whenever you say. Uh, not right now. <laughs> Alright, that's the way we came from. And that's... Did I say that right? That's where we came from.
Hold on. I gotta check something real quick. Why the fuck? Wait, this is the same paper. This is the same exact one. Why did we take another picture of this? Camera. Camera. Hello? What the fuck are you doing, bro? This is the smash of the Chilean I heard. I should be able to get around it. Put more hours into Children of Morta? Yeah. I was thinking we should probably finish it before PoE starts. Locked. Fucking yeah, everything is locked. This type of lock. I might need to find a key. Oh, DMCA, I love these. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. I'm not going to use a coin yet, because I don't know what to... There might be a specific song that I need to play. Prices are steep. It's a wonder she has any customers at all. That's pretty fucking expensive. For the 50s. That starts like 26, right? No, we got time. It starts in the on the 10th of uh, May. Oh, we're just wasting beer now. Yep. I can't turn it off? Let's see. Charlie, Larry came home stinking drunk last night and he walked all the way home with one shoe. I know it's not your responsibility, but you could have called him a taxi. I know he's an idiot when he's had a few. I'm not for having an argument with you, but you know how dangerous is that is out there at the moment. Who the fuck is Sheila? Larry sounds like a charming fellow. I don't know what that's for. A handle of some kind. There must be something to do with the pub. It looks like a staff note. Surely living in a rush today, but I can't remember where the hell I put the staff key. Sorry about that. The last thing I did was clean the jukebox and put all the chairs back around the pool table. Then I had to sweep around. Sorry to dump this on you. Also, I will get around to hooking that Braystone's bitter barrel later on tonight before the hunters show up. Sorry again, Will. I have an idea where to look, at least. The jukebox. Okay. Well, probably nothing inside it, but worth a look all the same. Where the fuck y'all keep your keys, bro? I need keys for this joint. Swear to God, I'm about to spend the rest of my off time watching PoE videos. LOL. Alright, let's waste more beer, boys. Oh. These don't work. The cider works. Oh, this is the one that was broken that he said. He didn't get around to it.
Is there more here? Easier access? Okay. So does it matter which jukebox I play? Because... Unless this is open. Shelley was holding this when the attacker was here. It's the one from Lady Doa's house. She mustn't have got a good enough price from Terence Trilby. Okay. I'm assuming this is locked. Not even interactable. Yep. What? Oh, this fucking... This is so bad. Okay. What? Is it right click? What you mean? There ain't no fucking way I'm supposed to hold, bro. You out your fucking mind. Eh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got you. That was a very interesting uh, mechanic. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. What the fuck? There's a lot of notes left in this goddamn bar. Hey, Shirley, have set up the magnetic locks in your office. If you ever want to reset the locks, they are on the fuse board in the delivery room. Nip the way, but we'll be back later to finish up the work in your office, Adam. Oh, I got you, bro. You need a POE course? I got you. I will, I will suck at explaining it, but, uh, you know, I'll try. I don't want to touch a jukebox in case... I'm just gonna go to the other room. Can I open this now? Actually, now that I got the staff key, I can open a lot of shit, right? Uh, hold on. There was some stuff that was locked in here. If I remember correctly. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, shit. What would what would be it? It don't matter. Oh, first try. Let's get it. Hmm. That was right. Nothing special. <gasps> oh, these tokens are for the jukebox. It's a good thing I came in this motherfucker. Can I? Wow. Somebody's gonna take that out of context. You need to shut your mouth. All right, you need to shut your mouth. Okay. <laughs> Wait, did I read that? Okay. Okay, cameraman, listen. Ah, okay. Should I go to the bathroom? I should go to the bathroom. Wait, what's that? I didn't open that. Aha. Uh -huh. Got him. Ah, the dartboard. The 
This will come in handy. It looks like it's for the jukebox. No shit, Conway. Catherine's trying her best to fit in. Okay. I'm going to leave that open. Okay, what do we have here? Nope, not that. Oh, this is where the camera fucks up, man. Alright, I'm going to head back to the bathroom. Oh, I can open this! Oh, it's a different key. How about this one? Okay, wait. There's no way. Oh, I was about to say, like, Conway can lockpick with the, with the darts? That would be some... OG shit, bro. What the fuck? Alright. This was locked, if I remember correctly. Ugh. This is for the lockpick. I'll have a use for you. Zap? Could be useful. I don't know how that would be useful, but, it, you know, whatever. Okay. Um... Jesus, what, what happened here? I skipped this the first time. Shut up, May. Not Shut the f police presence, surely. Shut up, Conway, please. Alright, I hope I explored everything in that room, in the bathroom. I guess it's time for the jukebox? I do have a lot of tokens. What if the Outer Order ones is like a secret? How many do I have? Seven. There is seven of them. I don't trust it. I got a short story to fucking tell you next time we hop in a call. Oh no. Hmm. Wait, what? I thought I could go in here. I got you baited? Okay, I guess we're gonna... Okay, alright, alright. We're going for the jukebox. A thousand lies? Sure. Oh my god, 6-9, six, six get your fucking ass out of my face, bro. Holy shit, that's toxic. Why is this not working? Thank you. 
<laughs> That's true. Wait, this is like fr oh no 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 no. This is like Frank Sinatra, bro. What the fuck? Get this out of here, bro. Get this out of here. Listen, I ain't trying to get fucking muted, dude. Wow. Why can't I put another coin in? Let's pick an out of order one. No. I don't know if there was... I don't know if that's gonna do anything with the... With the Investigation, man. Like, if there's some hidden over there. Hold on, wait, wait. What did that note say about the jukebox? Was there a specific song that I missed? Can I actually access that? No. Okay. Was it this one? I don't think so. I think it was this one. They haven't hooked up all the beer taps by the sound of it. Last thing I did was clean the jukebox, put all the chairs back around the pool table. Then I had to sweep around. Oh, that was for the staff keys. Okay, what what the hell is the... What the hell do I go from here then? Let's go back this way maybe? Nani? Where the fuck am I supposed to go, mate? Hmm. I don't understand why I can't go through that door, because that door leads to the hallway that I was just at. And I can't open this for some odd reason. Oh, hold on, hold on, wait. I did get a hairpin, didn't I? I can lockpick that thing over there. Alright, Switch. If you're still here, left or right. Which door should I unlock? Can I read that? I can't read that. Unless I can... Can I lock... Can I unlock both of them? Oh. Very interesting. Worth a small peek. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna go for this one. Since it's connected to the police investigation. Coupler handle. Coupler handle. I don't know what that's used for.
Hello? Man, you bullshitting. You bullshitting right now. Please. I don't remember, I don't remember it being this finicky last time. Do I actually have to hold this? I'm just gonna do it. In case. Okay. I hate how you can't go Speedy Gonzalez, bro. Please, dude. H. Oh, they're busier than I thought. Catherine's been working hard. Looks like this note's been flagged by an officer. William, I know Jennifer Margate, Margates is a friend of yours, but there's no way I'm letting her back in to the pub. The thing she accused me of and in front of the punter is no less. She's lucky I didn't do something I would have ended up regretting. I'm not above showing someone the back of my hand if they deserve it. I know you own the place, but you put me in charge for a reason. She's barred for life. Damn. I'm sorry this offends you, but it's how I feel, and it's not going to change my mind. Imagine they gave, uh, imagine they barred fucking Will Smith from the, <laughs> from the Oscars. Shit. Wait. Shelly knows how to put on a song and a dance. I already know she's a liar and a thief. Damn, so judgmental. Sarge, I know that Shirley isn't on our evidence board, but after reading this, I wonder if she should be. Oh, damn. She gets more and more interesting every time. Are these all kidnappings from the past? I really want to find out her motive for... Her. Like, um, if she is the kidnapper, which they're like... That's the, that's the pathway they're going towards. I want to know her motive. I wonder if any of them are related to Charlotte May. If she has a weak motive, then I don't know how I'm going to feel. You know? Has to be a good fucking reason. No. Huh? <laughs> Did he just AJ me? Oh, Jesus. This is a little bit much. Oh, basically what the newspaper said. Am I missing something? Hmm. So, is it the same situation where... Damage darts? Ah, clever! So the hairpin did break. That's what, that's what I was gonna ask. Or assume. Question, you know. Okay. Fuck. 
I hate how finicky this is. I don't remember it being like this when I played it. Maybe I had more patience? I fucking knew it was the wrong way. Hey, yo? The police evidence board. What? The McKees hit a dog. They did kill a dog. <laughs> Oh, Bill you Levy motherfuckers, man! Oils, among other things, and Catherine said as much, and I didn't listen. They were beating a dog in their pantry. Yo, fuck these motherfuckers, man! I should look a little closer at this. Man, fuck you! Why would you do that? Oh my god, the dog was probably making all sorts of whining noises. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. I hate these motherfuckers. These guys are dead to me. I, I hate these motherfuckers. <sighs> Bitch ass. It looks like they have a fine coming that way. Only a fine? No wonder they tried to hide it. Both y'all can go to hell. Fucking rot, dude. Oh, the mic didn't pick that up. There's like a car that's rooming outside. A little bitch. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. And they're just as clueless to who took her as I am. I wonder what she told them about me. That must be an embarrassment to her. All the more reason to find that little girl and prove myself. Sarge, I know I said a lot of things about my father, but I think having him on the suspect's board is a mistake. He's a good man at heart, and he thinks he's trying to do the right thing. Let me talk to him first and see if I can convince him to drop what he's doing. He'll listen to me, I promise. Just give me a day or two. Circumstantial? Damn the law. They know full well what they found. But they're just not allowed to act on it without more evidence. So, he's guilty after all. Just not for the abduction of Charlotte May by the looks of things. I hope they get that warrant soon. Y'all can read that, right? I got you. I, I got you. I got you. Okay. And what's this? Evidence I haven't seen. No wonder I'm pulling at straws. Oh, we about to tamper with this shit? More tokens? I don't know... Oh. Who would be calling on a Sunday morning? It might be worth answering. That's gonna stay ringing. Apologies, but I have, I'm not done here. Oh, just as I thought. There was something here. Mmm. This was smashed during the attack. Some of my neighbors claim to have heard it. Shirley thinks that this Larry fellow could have been involved. He sounded too drunk when I heard him. Well, that's what I have too. Double checking if I can take a picture of anything. Okay. Are we done? Looks like it. This is good stuff. The place is a gold mine for my evidence board. Hello, the crow's nest. Oh, thank God. I was worried Shirley might answer. My name's William Crow. Uh, yes, Mr. Crow. What is it I can do for you? I'm sorry, officer. I, I wanted to speak to one of you yesterday, but I lost my nerve. 
Oh, oh, sorry, I'm the pub owner of the Crow's Nest. Really? I thought that Shirley was the owner. <laughs> no, 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 she has a habit of telling people that, but she just manages the place. Is that so? Can I talk to you about something, officer? Oh, shit. Well, I, I... Uh, listen, I don't want Shirley to get into trouble, but I, I've got to get it off my chest. Go ahead. <sighs> well, I saw her do something yesterday whilst I was locking up. Go on. Oh, God. She took something from your evidence room. I don't know what, and I don't care to find out, but I can tell you where she put it. I think that that would be a good idea, son. You promise me she won't get into any trouble? I'll have a word with her and leave it at that. As long as you tell me where it is, I, I, I think we're all good, Mr. Crow. <sighs> Thank you, officer. You're a good man. Yeah, so, where do I look? The pillar that Officer Foster put his fist through the other night. You know the one? Uh, uh, yes. And again, we're sorry about the mess. Hey, I'm a sore loser at darts myself. I just hope his hand's okay. Anyway, we, we put up a poster to cover the hole, so that's where she hid it. Uh, Mr. Crow, could you do me a favor and stay on the line whilst I check? Uh, sure thing. I don't know if that was a smart play right there from Conway. So there's a poster covering a hole in a pillar. I was not expecting it to go this way. I, I fuck with this. All right, let's go. Ooh, Shirley, you in trouble? There's a poster over here or in the pool room. Oh, the pillar, the pillar, the pillar. Okay, so it is this. Damn, she he punched a hole all the way up there, bro. Unless I'm looking at the wrong pillar. Nani. That's the only pillar I see. The fuck? This is a flyer. Get your shit together, man. Get your shit together. So Mr. Crow was right. Shirley stole this from the police evidence room. The reason I say that... What was she thinking? This does not look like the behavior of an innocent woman. I'd better tell him that I found it. The reason I say this is not a poster, because on the left side of the pillar, once we zoom out, is a missing poster. Of Charlotte May. Uh. Huh? Okay. Case in point right here. If I can get the camera to just. You see that? Right there? This motherfucker been waiting for a while. Mr. Crow? You found it? Yes. Thank you very much for coming to us with this. You're welcome. And between you and me, I think Shirley's up to something. I don't want the pub's good name dragging through the mud if I'm right. Well, you did the right thing. Good. Oh, and she obviously found a way into your case rooms. Don't ask me how. If you need a place to store any evidence, then you can use my locker in the room just to your right. Not sure how safe it is for you, but it's something. That's very kind of you. I think I will take that code. Yeah, sure thing. It's 8068. You've been a great help to us, Mr. Crow. Thank you again. My pleasure, officer. And please, go easy on her. Good day, Mr. Crow. Good day. Well, at least she didn't beat a dog, right? Impersonating an officer. I'm going to burn in hell for that one. 
All right. It was 8068, right? Let's get it. Oh. That's what I can use the handle for. Right. I've done that. Congratulations. Now I know how to change a beer barrel. Turn off gas lever on pressure valve. Okay. Connect beer pipe from the blue mains valve to blue. I need a pipe? I have the handle, I think. Oh, there it is. A spare pipe of some kind. Way ahead of you. Okay. What? What you mean? I could have done it. The I could have done it the other way, game. Let's not be like that. Let's not be like that, man. That sounded like a good, strong click to me. Okay. Is that thing gonna blow up? I'm gonna turn my sound for this. <laughs> I don't trust this, because... Turned and on. I'm a natural. So, what did that do for me, though? I... Hmm. I guess I'll go pour the beer. So how does that help me in in uh in any way? I I'm curious. Unless I can take these mugs or these cups. Ah. Oh. Fair enough. So this is the room. I'm assuming this is what I was looking at from outside in. And this looks like the stock delivery I've just destroyed. I hope it wasn't too expensive. Very interesting. Hooked up the switch by your office door to ring the last order's bell. I won't lie, I'm surprised, um, there hasn't been, like, the only one time where there was something hidden behind something, like the, like, for example, the flower plant, there was a key hidden behind it. That's the only time that there was something like that. I wish there was more of that, like, little, little hidden things here and there. Now, let's see if those office doors have opened. Ah, I see, I see, I see. This is a shortcut to somewhere. Ah. And then I can take this shortcut.
Unless the other door was openable now. Yep, I think it was openable. It's fine. It's whatever. Alright. Off to her office. This is where I was spying her from. How to spot a genuine fake? Never get ripped off again? Excuse me? Game's too fucking quiet, bro. <laughs> fucking hell, dude. Top of the morning. <laughs> How are we doing? Oh, Jesus. She has everyone convinced that she owns the place. She's a compulsive liar. Trilby? Why is there no dialogue for this? I knew- I know my dude itching to get back to streaming, bro. Top of the morning, bro. I just woke up. I gotta get dressed and fight for them unsqueezed buns. How you doing, fam? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Besides getting scared to death by Kendrick, I'm doing good. How are you? How's the, uh, the break? How's the vacay from streaming? Hmm. I thought I saw you come in here. Mr. Morgan. What on earth are you doing, Mr. Conway? I'm looking for Charlotte May. I told you I'd stop at nothing to find her. Indeed you <laughs> did. And you breaking into Shirley's pub is your way of doing that? Do you really want to know? I'm not sure I do. Though I could ask you the same thing. What are you doing here, Mr. Morgan? Well, when I saw you come over here, I... I, I couldn't do it any longer. Do what? <sighs> Let other people act for me. Sit on my bottom whilst my daughter... It's a father's responsibility to protect his child, and I... I should have... Mr. Morgan, not everybody is cut out for this. It's fully understandable if you're not. Well, uh, You see what I mean? You can't bring yourself to say it. I'm a coward, and it's shameful. I don't think you're a coward. Then tell me what I can do. Let me prove it to you. Let me help in some way with... What is it you're doing exactly? You can help by making your way back home and letting... Robert. Please. Uh, it's just getting real now. Call me by my Very first well. name? The flat upstairs. Obviously I can't search it myself, so... Perhaps you can shed some light up. Thank you. And please, you only have to say if I'm putting you out. We will need to hurry, Mr. Morgan. Understood. That shit is difficult. Mmm. I know the feeling, bro. I know the feeling. I like... I've been wanting to stream too, but like, I don't... I don't want to kill every game, bro. Oh, by the way, how is Shirley Downs? Has she been treated? Yes, the doctor said she was fine. She'll be released later today. Did she say who attacked her? No, she didn't say. Damn. Uh, well, uh, thank you for that, anyway. That's fine, Mr. Conway. So what am I looking for up here? Uh, anything that looks interesting or out of the ordinary, I suppose. I I'm not sure 
if this counts, but th there's a locked door up here. Uh, what's so strange about that? Well, it's locked, but there's no keyhole. Hmm, that is strange. Uh, anything else? There's a panel on the side, if that helps. It looks like it might open somehow. Perhaps. Uh, leave it with me. I'll find a way in. Okay. I don't trust Tony. I ask him to live stream the search. True, dude. True. Put like a fucking GoPro on him. But yeah, like, I've been... Just like yesterday... Okay, yesterday I slept the whole day. But like, the day before, I, I was like... Staring at my computer like, should I stream right now? Should I stream right now? Should I do it? I'll fucking do it. <laughs> like, uh, I would have streamed the league seg, uh, the league session, but Anthony wasn't there, and it just felt, eh, eh. Anthony brings some kind of magic to the streams, man. At least league-wise. This soldering iron might come in handy. Ah, oh, this opens the shit, huh? Uh, how many games you got left in that library? I thought you had over a hundred tiles in that wish list too. I do, but do I want to? I don't know, man. I feel like it's too quick. It's too fucking quick. Twelve-hour streams every single day. That shit's getting brought down. Like I think I can finish. I don't know. The the fucking the, that time before the last Poe uh, league. That little time frame I had where I killed like five games or like e including DLCs in that span of time. That's just fucking dangerous, bro. Okay, don't touch this yet. That's how you open upstairs. Okay. Switches. I've already found those. This is where I've been searching. In the back of my mind, I've been thinking. The upstairs is in the top right. I've been thinking. Should I start Dark Souls right now? <laughs> Shit. I could do it in two weeks. Bet. What's this then? Oh fuck, I'm gonna have to repair that wire, don't I? I'm really looking forward to that one. I'm, it's gonna feel weird to see my dude tackle that one. Mmm. Like, tackle it for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, Sekido, Neo. Those were just me dipping my feet in the water. Dark Souls? I'm tackling it. I'm fucking going in. I already know Shell is a thief. I don't feel bad about this at all. Can we open her purse? I don't know why we can't do that. All right, now that you're now that you're here, I don't know if you're listening to me like on the computer or like on the phone or something, but um how's the audio? I've been I was trying to be a little productive, you know, while I was uh not streaming. So I hope the audio sounds okay. I have a compressor on right now. And I don't know, something about the compressors, man. They they freak me out because they make me sound kind of robotic. 
and they gave me a little bit of like extra bass that I that makes it sound unnatural. So I don't know. I have a weird thing with uh, how the, my audio works. Frayed wires. Okay. Pub door. Upstairs safe. Something opened in this room. Oh. Really? I think I hear the slight extra bass, but it's not much. Nothing robotic either, at least listening from the, the comp speakers. Okay. At this point, I might as well buy a new fucking mic. <laughs> at this fucking point, dude. I don't know what happened that day, man. Fucking all those, all those bunnies from, all those bunnies I killed from Shadow Warrior really just had their revenge that Easter, man. Jesus Christ. What the hell opened in here? Was it the blue thing? This thing? No. Uh. Hello? People really are moving on. Was it that thing next to the green sofa? Or chair? Something opened in this room. BRB. Get them buns, fam. Get them buns. Pause? How? Wait. What's that? What's that? What's that? Fuck. I don't know what opened in this room. I have no idea. I was, I was thinking it was like the fridge. Here, let me see what's in this corner. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Was it this box? Maybe this will give me a... A hint. So where am I right now? I'm in the bedroom? No. Am I? I don't know, man. Almost fittering... Finish soldering the switches behind your desk. All oh, the wait. Is it on a timer? Okay. Let's see. That should work. Let's see if the switches are connected. Why is this not opening? Mr. Morgan? Yes? Try that door again. I think I might have cracked it. It's open. How did you do that? I have my ways. 
could you tell me what's inside? It's a safe. I thought as much. Probably the pub takings, I would imagine. Probably, yes. I'll keep it in mind. Let me know if you find a key for it. I will do. Mr. Conway? Yes? This all feels a little... Uh, well, now that I'm here, I feel a little uncomfortable doing this. Well, do you want to find your daughter? <laughs> he did not want to say that. I'll keep looking. He didn't want to say that. Conway felt bad about saying that. I hear a timer when I press that. Or... Aha! It is on a timer. But what the fuck would it be? I'm assuming it's that. Unless the other side of the desk has one? I just rolled over that fucking bag purse. What would open here? It has to be that thing on the desk, but I don't see a key though. It has to be that, bro. It has to be that. But I don't know why it's not working. So I'll click it. Get off of it. Oh. Ah, it's too late now. It's too late now. Okay. Unless I can reset it. Maybe. Aha, you little bitch. This is from Lady Doe's home. She was right to hide her belongings under the floorboards. Shirley has light fingers. Mr. Morgan? You can call me Tony, you know. Oh, of course, I'm sorry. There's a music box down here. It's identical to her sister's. Is there anything up there that I might be able to use as a pick? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, what would I need to look for? Uh, well, something small enough to fit into a lock. Uh, like a small screwdriver? Smaller than that. Like a needle I can bend or a, a piece of wire. Uh, where would you like me to begin? Uh, bear with me one second. I should use the blueprint on Shirley's desk. Oh, no. Time. That's not what I wanted to hear. Okay. I had a feeling that was going to be what it was for. Okay, so... Is this where he's at? I'm ready to guide you. Are you ready to look? Okay, I'm ready. Ah, this is so... This is kind of ass. Okay, so... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is... Alright, never mind. I thought I would have to, like, direct him actually manually. Like, <laughs> that would have been bad. Okay, let's try, um... The bed? What's under her pillow on the bed? That's a, a little, uh, 
invasive, is it not? Mr. Morgan, you're sneaking around her bedroom. I think we passed that point a while ago, don't you? Uh, there's uh, a lot of pictures under her bed. What of? Levy's garage. A lot of cars and vans and whatnot. Oh, so that's where the threat to Harold came from. Uh, let's carry on. Oh, this is kind of cool. Okay. Is the wardrobe unlocked? Looking we have around. a lot of dialogue options out of this. There's a coat hanger. Perfect. Uh, can you throw it down to me? Will do. Can you come oh. upstairs? Is that it? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh. Listen, you know how many dialogue options I could have exhausted? Damn, that sucks. I, okay. Knowing me and how I play or how I want to, you know, do less plays and stuff on the channel, I would reach, I would like go to the main menu and load from checkpoint, but I have a feeling. I did see a save icon though, didn't I? I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna let y'all. If you ever play this game, if you, if you ever touch this game, to um play with those, those dialogue options, if there are any, unless the game just like cucks you the same way it did for me, um, but I'll let y'all enjoy that for yourself. I'm I guess. Ready. Okay. Oh. Missed it. Uh, one moment. I've got it. Thank you. I was not expecting a fucking QTE, my dude. God damn it. Alright, going into the music box. Wait, I thought Mr. Morgan was with Shirley the entire time. How come he didn't ask him anything related to Shirley? Because he went to go towards her down the alleyway. Hmm. A sister's love is forever. Okay. It's just, it says the same thing as the other time. Coat hanger. Here we go again, boys. I was right there, mate. I was right there, mate. Oh my god. Please. It was this way, right? Okay. Oh, thank God. Good. Uh, that worked. Oh, good. Anything useful? I'll let you know. Anything on your end? No, not yet. By the way, I, I saw you last night with the police. What was all that about? You mean the police haven't told you? Told me what? For God's sake, Catherine. It's probably nothing, but... I thought that Charlotte May may have been in Lady Doa's home. What? You saw my Charlotte? Uh, no, and I may very well have been mistaken. I, I don't understand. You. Why didn't the police tell me? They mustn't have found enough evidence. Oh, they didn't believe me. Do you think she was there? Perhaps. But I have no proof. I'm sorry. That's why I'm continuing my search. That's fucked up. Is everything all right? Let's carry on, Mr. Conway. That's fucked up.
I think that safe might be important after all. Really? How does it open? Uh, I, I did look, but give me a second. Uh, it, it takes a key of some kind, and there's a dial for a combination. Do you have anything to use as a pick? I gave the hanger to you. I, I can get another one, though. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to throw you something. All right. I'm at the stairs waiting. How does that work? Because the stairs kind of kind of curve. There's like a corner bit. Anyways, June of the t 20th of June. Annabelle's 30th birthday is this month. I can't believe it's been 30 years. That's it. I'm officially old. I never thought I'd end up doing this into my, uh, into my mid-30s, but here I am. Running a pub. I don't own selling beer to punters I don't like. To future me. If you read this back and you're still stuck in Dahlia, Bloody View in 30 years, then do us both a favor. My little sister has more figured out than I do. Why can't I be more like her? 23rd of June. Reminders, get posters made. Contents, the safe upstairs is off limits to all staff and- Dragons! This game is too quiet, goddammit. <laughs> How are we doing, Macho Man? Uh, under no circ- Fuck, man. Under no circumstances is anyone to open it. Get the Adam, get Adam the electrician to change locks on the office when doing wiring. Pull yourself together, woman. Oh, this game. This game. It's like the fucking... Audio's not even going past 40 decibels. This is ridiculous. Where the fuck did I get this? Did you be Octopath? Yes, I did. Uh, not to worry. I can see it. Thank you. Right. I'll try and find a code. What about... Oh, shit. Hold on. Do I have the book now? Annabelle's birth year. Oh, you son of a bitch. Is this week? What day is today? I know we're in 1950-something, but I don't know specifically. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I would say... If you're a very, very, um... If you're very into JRPGs and you, uh, like the grinding, I would say it's a very, a very good game. Um, but if you just... Like, we're talking excessive amounts. Like, I think more than an average RPG. Uh, average JRPG, like... There's a lot of grinding involved. Um, but yeah, if you're if you're into the grinding, if you're into uh, have you tried? If you're into like you know, putting into the putting into the time and effort, it's, it's a good uh, good pickup. Okay, don't have the patience for it. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Um, but yeah, it, it was it was okay as JRPGs go. Does it tell me the year here? Birth year. I'm doing that with Elden Ring. That game tests my patience very much already. Ah, uh, I'm gonna be tackling Dark Souls maybe in June. Cause it uh it is it was like a game request from uh the community. What about And that will be my first Souls like game, so that will be very interesting. Annabelle's birth year. How do I? How do I tell? What year is it currently? 
Is there a missing poster? I gotta bounce. Have a good night, man. Hey, you had you too, man. You too, man. Um, I I know I always stream late, so it's wow. kind of inconvenient. But I appreciate you stopping by. And scaring me to death. Yep. <laughs> How the fuck? Oh my god, what emote is that? That's way too dank. Shirley is regretting getting older, having little to show for her life. Hmm. How is there no way of telling what year it is? That's super weird. Aha, can I? Nineteen thirty two? It is not nineteen thirty two, no way. Nineteen fifty four. Aha, okay. Nineteen twenty four, it is. What about one nine two four? We're in. Got him. Well, at least the combination worked. I still have no idea what to do with this thing you threw to me. We're going to pick that lock, Mr. Morgan. Okay. Uh, and how on earth does one start that? You see the hairpin? I do. What Put happened to Conway's mic? Side. The other thing you have is called a tension wrench. Okay. Insert it into the lock near the bottom. I've done that. Now this next part requires some patience. Oh dear. Put the coat hanger above the wrench and put it to the back of the lock. We're going to navigate around the lock by feel. I'm not sure this is something I can do, Mr. Conway. Yes, you can. Just try to be slow. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I I had a feeling this was gonna happen. Blaster, I'm sorry it slipped out. <laughs> Not to worry. Don't Just say that again. ever again. <laughs> Conway, I really don't think I can do this. Trust me. Yes. Oh you can. my God. Oh, no, I'll try again. Oh no, I can't mess up, can I? That's gonna be annoying to hear that over and over again. Okay. I gotta be extra careful, boys. You know, we wouldn't want this slipping out. You feel me? First one down. You need to move the pick to the back of the lock. There are probably around three or four things to pick before you're done. Keep going. Thank you. Slow and steady wins the race, boys. Second pin down. Keep going. You're doing well. Wrong way. That's three down. You're almost there. There's another Thank one! You for your patience, Robert. Oh my god, bro. There's another one.
Usually it's only three, for the record, if anybody's questioning that. Why I said that. Oh, thank God. I don't believe it. You did it. It's open. You did well it. Done. Right. Uh, uh, let's take a look inside. My dear God. I think this might be what you were looking for. This is hair. Huh? Maybe dried blood, too. Does this mean... I don't understand. What's the matter? It's the weapon with blood on it. Did you know this was here? I can assure you I did not. Then what does this mean, Mr. Conway? Okay, my theory now is that since Shirley is a thief, right? She broke into Mr. Morgan's house that we saw in the beginning of the game, right? And then she got caught. Oh, it could go deeper than that. Maybe she uh she was hired for a child, you know, abduction like like, you know. What's what's the word I'm looking for? Human trafficking? That's very deep. I don't know if they're going to go into that, but basically the premise is what I think is going on here is that Shirley was just trying to steal shit from Mr. Morgan's house, got caught by the daughter, got caught by both of them, smacked Mr. Morgan with whatever he has in his hand, probably a telescope. It looks that's what it looks like. And um took the daughter and is hiding it somewhere. I if she killed the kid, that is that's dark. And I uh, I welcome it. It could mean anything. It's best not to jump to conclusions. Oh, you're Mr. one to talk, Conway. To you shut your mouth, man. Let's not jump to conclusions. Every fucking second. Hey. Hey. Charlotte. Is that you down there? Let me take a look. Perfect fit. Okay. Where is my daughter, Mr. Conway? You promised you'd find her. Mr. Morgan, let's find out together. I've been trying, motherfucker! I'm not like you sitting on- Wait, I actually am sitting on my ass. All day. Because I'm disabled. Touché, Mr. Morgan, touché! But I still have a daughter. <laughs> After searching Shirley's pub, it's Got clear to me that she's a person of questionable morality. The glass shard that the police found matched the small telescope perfectly. I'm positive it was the weapon used to hit... Conway, do you eat apples with a spoon? How does that work? no trace of Charlotte May. This is my last chance. Oh, shit. I need to know a few more things before I accuse Shirley. I suck at these. I absolutely suck at these. Okay. Bring everything to the evidence board. Oh. What was that? What happened? What? The game paused itself. That fucking threw me out for a loop. What the fuck? It didn't crash, though. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. All right. Shirley used Lady Doa's telescope to spy on the Morgans. Is there any evidence that places her in Lady Doa's home on the night that Charlotte May was taken? Welcome back, fam. Welcome back. Do we get them buns? Pause. Okay, listen. This is doing too much. I need to get rid of all the evidence that's not I need to look at every single detail there is related. I I just need to get rid of some of these so I have a decent chance at figuring this out on my own. I should read every detail on the evidence. Fuck. I 
need to make sure I'm scouring all of the evidence. Give me a hint. Give me a hint, game. Give me a hint. There must be some small detail I'm missing on some of the evidence. Okay. I'm sure that some of this evidence is there. Everything left on the board is relevant. That's still a lot on the fucking table, bitch. Okay. Disconnect everything. Since this one only has two bullet points, we should work on this one. The only proof of an intruder at Shirley Downs' pub was a glass they may have smashed during the attack. Is it possible that there was no intruder? Is it possible the glass could have smashed in some other way? Mission accomplished, my store was dead as sin. Oh hell the yeah. The only proof of an intruder at Shirley Downs' pub was a glass they may have smashed during the attack. Is it possible that there was no intruder? Is it possible the glass could have smashed in some other way? What's the question? Glass, another way of smashing the glass. Okay, okay. Okay. Fuck! He will be charged for his replacement or barred. Glasses left on the last order's bell will fall off when it rings. That has to be one of them. But what do I pair that with? Them being drunk? Traces of heavy liquid sedative found at scene. Hmm. There's no way they're both from this uh, note alone. It could be this. Larry came home stinking drunk last night. There must be a detail I'm missing on some of the evidence. Fuck me, I guess. Okay. I like how the game... Gives me the hint whenever I attempt. It's, it's based on attempt. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it just gave me a hint right now. I thought it was a attempt thing, not a time thing. That's like, that's like when you're eating at a dinner and the waitress or waiter just comes with your check after you finish your like after you take five bites. That's fucking annoying. I've taken some excerpts from the police report I found. Can I use them to connect Shirley to the kidnapping? It did pick up on the mic. God damn it, you fucking motorcycle bitches, man. Hmm. Fuck it. I feel I could group this evidence. Okay. I'm sure that everything I've grouped relates to the right question. Okay. So this is the one I was looking at, or supposed to look at. Interesting. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. Last order's bell will fall off. Where's the order bell? Good. Got what it. What does the rest of it mean? 
Have no idea, Conway. No idea. Um, let's see. This one only has three. Okay. So, what's the question? Can I place Shirley Downs at the telescope on the night Charlemagne was taken? Where is this note from? I don't know. Larry stumbling outside the gate with one shoe. That has to be one of them. Larry came home stinking drunk last night. No. Could have called him a taxi. And then the date. There must be some small detail here. Cunt. Wait, the date has to be that. No way, bro. The date has to be there. Maybe it's the drunk thing? That's right. I'm onto something. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, what does the rest of it mean? Okay, this one got four bullet points. You got this, bro. You got this. Okay. You don't need no fucking hint. What's the question? Does any of the evidence here match the police report excerpts? Fuck this. <laughs> I don't think I could ignore it there. All that remains is to connect the relevant evidence. I got two out of three, damn it. Wait, what? Wait, these are all... You... You fucked me on this one. These are all still highlighted. Alright, whatever. What's that say? I couldn't get any of that... Two-tone rope you normally use. Oh. Multi-color black and green rope found. Maybe? About to recommend Sherlock Holmes and Nancy Drew games to my dude. Oh my god. You know how many Sherlock Holmes games there are? Holy shit. There's so many. Uh... Wouldn't I need to look at the police excerpt to, like, connect the dots? All right, whatever. I've taken some excerpts from the police report I found. Can I use them to connect Shirley to the kidnapping? Oh, I see, I see. I see what you're getting at now. Okay. I see. I understand. So this one will be... Okay, this one has to be the rope, right? Uh-huh. What's this one? Loss of consciousness? Got him. That's it. By the police's account, Shirley had access to the same type of rope and chloroform of a sword. Holy shit, that's a telescope lot of... An attack weapon, and I think I have all the means I need. That's a lot! I can even place her at the window, watching over Charlotte May just minutes before she was taken. I spent so much time looking at the McKees and Harold Levy. It's Shirley. It has to be. Oh, dear God, I hope I'm not too late. Oh, time to gather my neighbors and share my suspicions. And put an end to this once and for all. Does this game have multiple endings? Oh, that'll be that'll be clutch. I don't know. The accusation. Oh shit. Oh shit. I was reaching the end of my investigation. No idea if Catherine could even look me in the eye. I'd promised Tony Morgan I'd find his daughter. And I'd betrayed my own in the process. 
Perhaps I should have listened to Catherine and left the investigation to the police. Perhaps Tony Morgan didn't need my help. Perhaps I'd failed everyone. Only time would tell, and Shirley Downs held the key. Catherine, thank you for coming. What do you want, Dad? I told you I didn't want to... I promise I'm not wasting your time. What do you want? Please, come inside. I have something you'll want to see. You'll forgive me if I don't believe you. Then why did you come? I don't think she's going to approve. It's my job to follow up all leads. Then, please, I'll show you what I've been working on these past few days. These past few days you promised me you weren't investigating again. Please don't humiliate me, Dad. Oh! Christ. Stop. How long a beat found 24 games containing the word Sherlock, 36 containing Nancy Drew. Jesus Christ, I don't even know, I haven't even heard of a Nancy Drew game. What the fuck's Nancy Drew? <laughs> Nancy Drew games. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hell no. <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on, I need to... I need to... Gameplay? Sure. Uh, Mega Marathon. It's my Hey everybody! It's Argolfump and Why is her commentary? This reminds me uh what the fuck? This reminds me of like this UI reminds me of uh Papers please. There is a game that uh Switch gifted me. It was called um it had Oprah Din in Oprah Jin. Hold on, let me fucking find it before I make a fool out of myself. Return of the Oprah Din. And I don't know. And I think that's a, like a detective game in itself. How is there 36 of these, bro? What's the latest one? Same devs as uh, Papers, Please. Yeah. Latest Nancy Drew. That's not how you spell Nancy. Okay. 2019. This is not in order, Goo Goo. You suck. You absolutely suck. 2019 is the latest I saw. Midnight in Salem. Salem. It's mixed. So I didn't tell you everything. This is how I remember my ancestors. Do you hear? Here it is. There's an explanation. Time's up. We have to go to the Hathorn house. To be honest, it looks kind of mixed. To, to be honest, it looks kind of mixed. <laughs> To be honest, <laughs> it looks there. There's a game that uh, AJ introduced me as. It's like his childhood game. I think it was Wizard 101. It has kind of the same feel. Who is the man of them? <clears throat> Thank you all for coming. I imagine you share some notion of why I asked you here. In short, to discuss the disappearance of Charlotte May, and also to apologize. To each and every one of you. I'm sure you know by now that I've been investigating every possible area of her disappearance, and that has meant looking closely at Daily View. Does this he mean Charlotte? On us. A crude Does this mean Charlotte May is dead? But yes. That's Unless she's going to be bursting through the door. Surely. I've broken no laws, uh, I can assure you. That we know of. This is an invasion of privacy. You shut the fuck You're up, a dog beater. Officer. 
How can you let him do this? It's not illegal to ask questions, Mrs. McKee. What about breaking and entering? How do you feel about that? Hey? Are you pressing charges, Mr. Levy? We still need to address the fact that there's an attacker at Let large. Let Mr. Conway speak. We need to address these couple over here that beat a like fucking dog with a mallet. This is going. Well, with my apology out of the way, let's talk about what I've uncovered. Oh, we're starting with McKees first. Annabelle and Theo. The two of you clearly have problems of your own to work through. Uh-huh. The very nerve of you, Mr. Conway. And you should have reported that dog that you hit with the car. Uh-huh. It would have saved a lot of time, and perhaps we would have found Charlotte maybe. Wait! Wait! They beat the dog? Wait, no, no, no. They ran over the dog? Then they beat the dog into mincemeat in the pantry? Oh, hell nah, dude. Oh, hell nah. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. If you hit the dog... God. You fuckers. By now. But I have no reason at all to think you could have taken Charlotte. Lock them up! I could have told you that if you'd asked. I have nothing more to say to the two of you. I think we'll just go in order. Harold Levy. You don't like me very much. I can live with that. You said it yourself. As long as I pay my rent on time, we won't have a problem. In the future, it might do you well to extend that courtesy to neighbors going through certain hardships. Well, not every problem can be solved with your fists. Yeah, you ain't no kitty. You owe Mr. Morgan an apology. What's he talking about? God knows. Other than that, I found nothing to think you capable of such a terrible act as kidnapping a girl. I have nothing more for you. Oh, that was a waste of time, then. Oh, Shirley's not on this list, on this uh, choices, huh? Mm. Lady Doa, I thank you for permitting me to search your home. But on reflection... You really should pay more attention to whom you employ to clean your estate. Hmm. Hindsight is a blessing. I don't think you had anything to do with Charlotte May's disappearance. It's a shame that your home was violated in such a way. Again, I extend my apologies that you've been dragged into this. Water under the bridge, Mr. Conway. And finally, we come to Shirley Downs the second victim of our unknown perpetrator, a completely innocent bystander the night that Charlotte May was taken, the perfect alibi. Were it not all based on lies and deception? Well, then... What? No, you... You all saw what happened to Shirley, me. please, let us dispense with the song and dance. Shirley... What is he talking about? I have no idea, Annabelle. I can assure you of that. Just what on earth are you getting at, Mr. Conway? <laughs> Why are you looking around, huh? I bloody know it. You've always been a dark horse. Shut up. I had nothing to do with Shut up. May's disappearance, I promise you. Mr. Conway, I think you might have made a mistake. Catherine, would you mind? Please, I think it's time we talk to Miss Downs alone. Could we have the room? I, I think I should stay. She's no. my sister and she needs Mrs. my... Mrs. McKee, The please. fuck out of my house. Everyone, in fact. Leave now. I think it's best you leave too, Mr. Morgan. Don't worry. I'll update you later on this evening once I know more. Shirley, I... I'll be fine, Annabelle. They're making a huge mistake. Just do as the police officer says. I'm afraid that means you too, Mr. Levy. <laughs> no way. I would have missed this if you paid me. Get out, you fool. <sighs> this is what you wanted, was it? How very disappointing. Damn. Good work, Mr. Conway. 
my biggest fan right there. Shirley. You know what I'm saying? Please take a seat. Ah, oh, fuck. It's about to turn into Eleanor up in this bitch. Ah, oh, shit. Where's my X button? Now, where should I begin? Look, I, I don't know what this is about, but I think you made a huge mistake. I'm sorry. Catherine, is it? Can you talk some sense into him? I think we should hear what he has to say. Oh, this is ridiculous. If you have nothing to hide, then surely you'd relish the chance to prove your innocence. You watched me get attacked. That proves that the kidnapper is still out there. Well, let's start there then, shall we? Oh. How will you explain this, I wonder? Perhaps you want to explain how you found that. Without breaking the law. Uh, well, uh, I'm sure it will come to that. But for now, we're talking about you. You have nothing to say. There's no getting around this, Shirley. You're not listening. It wasn't me. Wow, okay. What's that supposed to be? Why don't you tell me? It was found in your pub. So what? Lots of people drink there every day. Glasses smash. I don't know what's special about a piece of glass. Hmm. It sounds plausible. <sighs> well, there you have it. Well, then Mr. Crow didn't seem to think so. He told me you took it from the police evidence room. <laughs> Prove it. I intend to. I'm sure Mr. Crow will be willing to testify. But let's move on. Okay, these are shorter and sweeter than I thought. I thought we were gonna have a conversation. What do you have to say about this? Y you've been watching me. Annabelle was right. This is an invasion of privacy. Well, isn't that what you wanted? What are you talking about? Well, for someone to see your charade. Well, this... The whole business with the so-called intruder. You set the whole thing up. <laughs> what a ridiculous thing to say. How could I have? Why would I? You did it so that Tony Morgan would see you as the victim, and therefore not as his attacker. I saw you too. I'll admit, you were very convincing. This is all in your mind, Mr. Conway. You, you have no evidence at all. Well, we'll see. Let's continue, shall we? Well, I suppose that's that. That's it? Catherine, is what you've heard enough to arrest Miss Dance? I'm sorry, it's not complete. Conway, that was the afraid. worst well, then. way of providing evidence I've gone. ever seen in my life, dude. gone with my gut and accused Annabelle. What? what? Again, I'm sorry I've wasted your time. Catherine... Can you see if Annabelle is still close by? This is... Wait, Mr. Conway. This is horrible. What could you possibly think Annabelle has to do with this? Well, I shouldn't discuss this with you, but all those late nights whilst Thea was gigging, no one able to verify her whereabouts. And then, of course, there's the matter of the... Uh, well, like I said, I shouldn't discuss this with you. I apologize, Miss Downs. Let's see if we have enough to arrest your sister. Wait. <laughs> what is it? For God's sake. I, I hid the telescope in my safe, but I was hiding it for someone else. The truth, Shirley. All this conversation is over. Okay, I hit Mr. Morgan, but I swear I thought he was someone else. I'll see what your sister has to say about that. I'm telling you the truth. Annabelle had nothing to do with it. Where is Charlotte May? I didn't take her. That's why I hid the telescope in the first place. So the police wouldn't suspect that I took her. That makes no sense whatsoever. I didn't take Charlotte May. Uh, so let me get this straight. And it's very important that you're clear. Oh my god. Alright, listen. This conversation went literal nowhere. Like, the fuck? Like, Conway should have elaborated more on these questions. 
or these accusations. He just like says something and then sh and then Shirley just asks the question back. What the fuck? You faked the attack against you. <sighs> yes. I needed people to know that the kidnapper is still out there. I couldn't come forward and say what I'd done because people would think I took Charlotte May. You took the shard of glass from the police evidence room. Well, well, yes, because it proved that I hit Mr. Morgan. But I thought I was hitting Harold Levy. The telescope is the attack weapon. I... Uh, I took it from Lady Dewa's hallway. I saw my sister having an affair from Lord Dewa's window. I was angry. I... I, I overreacted. Hmm. You attacked Tony Morgan. I already told you. I thought I was hitting Harold Levy. He was kissing my sister, Annabelle. A married woman. Theo's wife. I don't think even you can separate the truth from the lies anymore. I'm not lying, Mr. Conway. You took Charlotte May that night. I did not. Then you put her in Lady Doa's basement. Why? I'm not saying another word. You knocked me from my chair and then staged the attack on yourself to throw me off the scent. <laughs> That's all in your head. Where is Charlotte May? Is that enough to arrest Miss Downs? I believe so, yes. Then I think I've heard just about all I need to. Catherine, may I have a word? Conway is the definition of reaching. That was such a reach. If the game ends like this, I'm gonna be- I'm not gonna be pleased. At mm. all. It looks like you were onto something after all. Yes, it looks that way. There's no way. Let's wrap this up then, shall we? Wait a moment. You see now what I was doing. What I had to do. I do. Well then, what's wrong? With a little more time, Shirley will tell us where Charlotte May is. You can arrest her. This is a good thing. You lied to me. You betrayed my trust after you promised me. This is true. I'm so glad that you were right. I, I really am, but... I don't think he's right. That doesn't change how you did it. Catherine, we did it. You and I. I listened to what you said, and... I truly am sorry. There were moments where I knew I was crossing a line, but I did it. You've told me already. And I meant it. Please. I'm going to update Mr. Morgan later on and tell him what we found. It would mean a lot to me if you were by my side. What do you say? I don't think so, Dad. I'm sorry. Catherine, please. Miss Downs? I'm arresting you on suspicion of the abduction of Charlotte May Morgan and an attempt to obstruct an active and ongoing police investigation. You don't have to speak, but anything that you do say might be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand all that? There's no way that's it. Please. There has to be more. I need closure. Shirley has confessed to almost everything I've thrown at her. But she's refused to give me the location of Charlotte May. I hope to God she's still alive. It's out of my hands and up to Catherine now. I've reached the end of my investigation. No, I don't say that. But at what cost? Okay, okay. I promised Mr. Morgan I'd return this brooch when I found Charlotte May. The news of Shelley's arrest will have to do for now. There's no way they're going to keep her missing. That's just fucked up. Now that all's said and done, I suppose I should tidy all this away. 
Come on, Dio has to reveal himself at some point. I used to roam these halls and wonder what kind of neighbors. Smells like bad me. ending to me. Ah, now shit. I know all too well. I have a feeling. When you said Mr. Morgan was sus earlier, it might have been a hoax. He might have, the daughter might have been in the house the entire time. He just pretended it was missing. She was missing. But I wouldn't know how I feel about that. How will Mr. Morgan take the news, I wonder? He's been through enough. Hmm. No sign of Catherine. She's not coming. Hello, Mr. Conway. Mr. Morgan, how are you? Uh, as well as can be expected, I suppose. I, I have to say, I wasn't expecting you so soon. I apologize. I, I thought you might want an update regarding Shirley Downs. Of course, yes. Uh, uh, why don't you step inside for a moment and, uh, well, please come in. Okay, I don't think he's a suspect. You can leave your things down there if you like. Thank you. Maybe though, maybe? Please. You were saying? Uh, yes. If I can you roam should. around in here... It went well. Then maybe. She confessed. Uh, well, uh, not to all of it, but I have reason to believe she's confessing right now in police custody. She confessed to hitting you over the head and to pretending she was attacked. Uh, we found the weapon and, well, the list goes on. What about my daughter? She refused to admit it. She was adamant. But y you said... She confessed to hitting me. Low-key deaf in my right well, ear now? there's more to the story, I'm afraid. She swears blind that she thought she was hitting Harold Levy. What? Uh, uh, okay, I, I don't know what that means. I agree. It doesn't make any sense. Where is my daughter, Mr. Conway? Oh, Mr. Morgan. I won't stop until I find her. I, I'm sorry. That was unfair of me. I understand. And it's me who has to apologize. I, I told you I would find your daughter, and until now I've failed you in that matter. I don't blame you. you you've done all you can. I'm sorry. Where are my manners? Please, come and sit through here. Perhaps you'd like a cup of tea, Mr. Conway. It's two sugars, isn't it? Uh, yes, that's right. Please. How do you know that? Make yourself at home. How do you know that? I'll be back momentarily. How do oh, you know that, you. huh? I will. How the fuck do you know it was two sugars? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. How long have you lived in Daily View? It must have been before I moved here. Uh, yes, uh, about four years or so. I remember the day you moved here. I should have introduced myself then. I, I'm sorry about that. Not to worry. I should have done the same. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, um, that reminds me. I brought the brooch back that I found at the crime scene. Thank you so much. I hope it was of some use. What on earth? This isn't Charlotte May. Oh my it's a god. Girl together. Wearing Charlotte May's brooch. Another girl. Jesus, what is this? Ah, uh, you son of a Mr. bitch. Mr. Morgan, what have you done? You son of a bitch. Uh, <clears throat> um, I said I hoped the brooch was of some use. Uh, yes. I, I mean, no. I, I wasn't able to connect it to anything. Is everything okay, Mr. Conway? You seem a little out of sorts. Yes, I'm fine. Uh, I uh, don't think I'll have that tea after all. I'm sorry to put you out, but I remembered I have to hand over all of my findings to Catherine. She'll probably be waiting for me. She was six when that picture was taken. Oh, was she? Is that so? Ah, oh, fuck. Mm. Such an innocent age, wouldn't you say? Charlotte wouldn't have known what real danger was back then. Not like you and I. Well, we all have to grow up at some point, don't we? You'll excuse me, but I, I really must be. Are you sure you're okay, Mr. Conway? I can't help but feel your discomfort. Is it something I've done? Like I said, I'm probably keeping Catherine waiting, is all. You know, I thought that I was careful enough, but the way you think, you really are very clever, Mr. Conway. To your detriment. Ah, oh, shit. Hmm. It's funny. <laughs> I spent the past few days wondering who on earth would attack me. I was as confused as everyone else. Turns out it was all just a misunderstanding. Have you ever heard anything so unlikely? I was going to leave town that night. I'd left her in Doe's basement. Things were almost in place. I was putting the rubbish out and then well, and then Shirley Downs. She's still alive, isn't she? I really am glad you decided to investigate. The mystery was eating me up inside. You know, I watched you work these past few days. Watched as you pulled our neighbors' lives apart piece by piece. Are you going to bring her in now? Shirley's pub and seeing you before that at Lady Doe's house. It was very exciting. Game? What do you want? What do you want? Ah. It's funny, I felt that if I could just reach out, of course, I couldn't. From what I remember, you reached out with your fist. You almost caught me that night, you know, in Lady Doe's basement. You were so close, but still so far. You know, I've never had to go back and check before. Does she but exist or not? me, you'd find her. I had to think on my feet. She cried when she saw me. I suppose she was seeing me for the first time in many ways. She? You mean the girl that I... 
some other poor child you've taken. Oh. Now I understand. Is she still alive? The girl. Why did you do this? Charlotte May was six when she... You see, after so many years, well, they stop looking like children, don't they? Dear God. So, so she was too old to remind you of the real Charlotte May. And that's why... This really isn't your first time. The first time I did this, my hands were shaking. I was a mess, Mr. Conway. I'd have been embarrassed just to be in your presence. You sound as though she means nothing to you. She means everything to me. Have you lost your mind? I think our little talk is over, Mr. Conway. Believe me, I don't want to do this, but you leave me no choice. I, I don't think you will kill me. You didn't tie that little girl up for no reason. If you were simply a murderer, you wouldn't have left her alive down there. There has to be something more to you. What makes you so sure? I... Cameraman? I think oh. you wanted to see her as Charlotte May. You wanted to believe it right up until the end. Well, you've got it all figured out, haven't you? What happened to the real Charlotte May? You have a daughter, Mr. Conway. You know how it is. It's your responsibility. Your duty to protect them, no matter what. Oh, Tony. What happened? I must have left the balcony door unlocked. I took my eyes off her for just a second. We lived on the fifth floor. Tony, I'm so sorry. Perhaps we should talk about it. You can tell me about her. If you let me go, I'm sure I... I don't I... think so, Mr. Conway. Oh, hell no. Put him on underneath a jail, fam. Please don't For real. Mine. Fine. Where is the girl now? <sighs> She's quite safe. Hmm, is this the same girl the entire time? How many girls have you abducted during this entire playthrough? What's her real name? Mr. Morgan. At least tell me, what's the girl's real name? Sophie Marling, if I recall. It was all over the papers, although I tried not to look. Funny. It made the front page for a week. One week, Mr. Conway. Then I think some football team won a game somewhere and the world moved on. Makes you think, doesn't it? What would the real Charlotte may think of you? You won't speak her name again. Do you Bitch! think you be proud of what you've done? Say Please. what I want. Stop. What about this girl? Everyone's looking for her. You can't get away with this. Mr. Conway. You've already arrested Shirley. No one is going to find her. And no one is going to find you. Now, please stop. You're beginning to make me rather uncomfortable. Jesus. You wouldn't want her to remember you this way. None of that matters. Now, please, try to keep still. I feel like I could have done something. <laughs> please, don't do this. You're a reasonable man, Mr. Morgan. I know you don't want to do this. Believe me. I've tried to change what I am, but I can't. Mr. Morgan, I would very much like to speak with you. Oh, no. Now she's a police officer. She's got this, right? Like father, like daughter. Not a word, Mr. Conway. The anesthesia should kick in shortly. 
Scream your heart out, old man. That's what I'm saying. He could be screaming the fuck out right now. Ah, hello, Mr. Morgan. I'm oh, sorry to shit. You, but I wondered if I might speak with you and my father. Your father? Are you expecting him? No, don't whisper! I Yo! He might already be here. Catherine. He said he was going to talk away. to you about Shirley Downs. May I come in and talk Look, through our options? It's him. Uh, it's him. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Please help me. You oh, you need to it's yell fine. a little bit louder, bro. I can come back tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know what? With everything that's going on, I'm not Catherine. Yes. Help, please. I think that would be a good idea. Um Tomorrow morning. Save yourself. Lunchtime, perhaps. If you please think you can wait me. until then. Is there a I'm sorry to bother actual you. real? Please, uh, please don't, don't do don't anything apologize. to her. Uh, we'll talk tomorrow. Right. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Fuck. Wheelchair, 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 wheelchair. Come on. Wait. Uh, what is it? Come on. I haven't seen my father. Then why is this camera in the house? Oh! And his bag. Mr. Morgan? <laughs> Fall down, make a thumb, motherfucker. She. <laughs> Hold? But that looks like spam! What? I'm holding it. I'm holding it. Will it go faster if I tap it? I don't think so. How is she struggling? You don't deserve that badge. Jesus. Don't you have a stun gun? Some Oh, wait, I'm not covering that. Six hours? Do you know where Catherine is? Where the hell am I? Like, this is a different camera angle. Oh my god, cameraman. Are you really gonna do this to me? Listen, I'm not even there. <laughs> cameraman, not like this, bro! Oh, for fuck's sakes! Bro! How the fuck? Man, you bullshitting. Can I skip this? Oh wait, this is the main menu. Do you know where Catherine is? Um, I don't understand. Am I supposed to go towards the gate? I guess? Ah, I see now. Catherine. Dad, 
Are you okay? I I'm fine. Thank God you are. That was kind of... That could have been done better. I did too. What happened here? I, I mean, what on earth did I walk into? If I'm honest, I'm still trying to figure that out myself. Shirley was telling the truth. It appears so. We searched the house. We'd ruled him out. Is he... No. He's alive. He's been taken to the station. We want to know if he's done this before. Uh, oh, he's done this before. I like the answer. Oh, my God. That could have been you. It could have been either one of us. Dad, listen. I... No, Catherine. I'm sorry. I am too. It's funny, I... I came back tonight because... Part of me knew I should have listened to you, but... I just wanted to prove to myself that I didn't need any help. The apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. I need to ask... Did you find Charlotte May? Is she... Follow me. Oh, hell yeah. Some closure. Charlotte, this man is Robert Conway. He's been looking for you for days. Is it her real okay, name? My dear. You're safe now. You don't need to be scared anymore. Catherine here is going to take good care of you. I'll just be a moment. I I'll come back. Don't worry. She hasn't said a word since we found her. She thought that Tony Morgan was her real father. She didn't even know that... It it doesn't bear thinking about. So, what do we do now? She doesn't have a home. Oh, that reminds me. We gotta get out of this neighborhood. Her real name is Sophie Marling. You can look through the papers or make some calls for that name over the past few years. And that's a great place to start. I imagine you'll want to come along and help. Oh, no, no. Perhaps it's best to leave this up to the professionals. I'd like it if you were by my side. I'd like that too. Now, we gotta get up out of this neighborhood. We have a child abductor. And we have a fucking couple that beats on dogs. Oh, hell no. And this is a gated community, I think. That's fucking terrifying. Is that it? What a game, man. What a game. I enjoyed the hell out of this, and I, I think I'm okay with that plot twist. Um, I didn't think at all. I didn't even accuse Tom Morgan. I think mostly because uh, the voice actor did a hell of a job playing like the innocent role, right? And it was very convincing. Um, man, this game's incredible. Definitely slept on. It was released in November. It barely has any plays. It's kind of a shame, really, to be honest. I think it got overshadowed by um, by the new Life is Strange, believe it or not. Which, frankly, is a crime, to be honest. Because Life is Strange 
Although the message is is good, although, you know, whatever they're trying to, the message they're putting out there for the Life is Strange games is good. It's just a copy and paste every year. It's like a Call of Duty, right? It's like, every Life is Strange up to this, I think, after the first one, it's just, eh. It's just, it is what it is, you know? But, um, let's start with the graphics. Um, but this came out the same year. As Life is Strange, I think it's called True Colors, and it got overshadowed by it pretty heavily. Um, but I would compare the graph. I think as a story narrative game, I would compare the graphics to Life is Strange. Um, I honestly, it didn't really look like Life is Strange at all, right? But it reminded me a lot of like Dishonored mixed with. Mixed with mixed with a little bit of Team Fortress 2. That's what I'm getting from it. Um I love the atmosphere. Like it was so atmospheric. It keeps you engaged. Like every single every place that we ransacked, like all the every neighbor's house that we went into felt different. It didn't feel like a copy and paste. Uh it felt like a new area. It felt, you know, there was like some I will say the sound was kind of quiet, but it I think it was meant like that for you to get a little spooked. When, like, for, uh, for example, in this session where the pigeon came out of the, the bathroom stall to give you a little, you know, jump scare a little bit. But overall, it, it felt nice, you know, you felt immersed into the game. I felt like... How, I don't know how long I spent on this game. I think the last... The last session was seven hours, including the Xfinity thing. Um, and then I played, like, almost three hours here, which definitely is over the, um... How long to beat? That's for sure. I think it was mostly down to me just exploring a lot more, and I felt it felt nice exploring, you know, every nook and cranny to to get down to the investigation to like see who the real culprit was. It was really nice. I enjoyed it. Um, the character models look great, although there was only a few character models. There was not a lot of characters to work with, but for what they for, for what they provided, I think they look all distinguishable. Like they don't look like one another. You can tell who Conway is. You can tell who Shirley is. You can tell who Levy is. Um, and I liked it. I, I, I enjoyed it. I think it was uh, well done. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making the game. Let's fucking get it. I don't know how that clap is going to capture on stream. But <laughs> it is what it is. If I would be surprised and shocked if there was an ending cutscene. Huh? I don't think so. I don't think so. But that was enjoyable. Um. Now, now that was all the positives for the graphics. Um, but like these negatives that I'm about to mention are really not um that negative. They're very nitpicky, and it's just it. I just I need to mention it because it's it's a review. It's my review at the end of the day, right? Um, there were some areas most. Of them took place during the, um, the manor section of the game. There was like this. The fuck was that? Hi, highly. Uh, the fuck. The whole fucking game blinked. <laughs> but um, during the the manor section, there was some parts here and there where the game was trying to do like a depth of field thing. Um, like they tried to zoom in on the on the on the grandma. But it didn't really work out. It like the the back parts behind her were kind of blurry, and it looked kind of, it looked kind of like it looked bad. Like if you go back and look at that section, I might have made a few facial expressions, but it's nothing to like to to knock the game for at all. Um, so that I just I just found that kind of weird how they had like their own depth of field system going on. I also wish I'm just gonna play music honestly because it's a little too quiet. And I'm just gonna do that. Um, the voice dialogue surprisingly was too was a uh, was louder than I uh, intended. Like I thought. Um, the usually when it most games are like packaged, how like the the sound effects and the music volume, right? They're usually louder than the voices, and you would have to turn the voices up a little bit. But surprisingly, the dialogue volume was the loudest thing in this game. 
which I think has to do with the fact with this that the fact that this is a narrative and like a story driven kind of game. So it makes sense. I will say though, I wish the audio was a little more polished. Like if you go over the one threshold, as you can see right here, the game starts to peak and like actually hurt your ears. I don't know. I don't know who mixed and mastered this game, but I think uh, y'all need to touch up a little bit more and uh, if you uh, decide to make another release of this game uh, or, you know, an, your next release. I don't know if there's going to be a part two to this, but for future games, I think double check the audio. You feel me? Double check it a little bit. Because, like, if you go past this, this threshold right here, it's your game breaks in terms of sound. Um... And I don't even have I don't even have the uh, the game all the way up when it comes to the the Windows volume. So that's what I just I just wanted to point that out. Um, so for graphics itself, I would give it a if things were polished up a little bit more, it would have got a five. But I'll I'll, I'll give it a four point five. It's almost there, but not. You just need a little, you just need a little, little, little tweaking here and there, and it would, I would have given you a five, because um, there were some parts where, like, um, the camera angles, right? The camera angles were just so, like, when you go into a corner with Conway and then the camera doesn't fix itself, that's a, that's a real issue. It affects the gameplay a lot. You would have to reload from the main menu, go back into the game. It's tedious. Fix that. But. 4.5 out of 5 for the graphics. The story. The main character has his flaws. I like that. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't say I, I would hate the main character, but I definitely did not enjoy the main character. You can see he had like a... His characteristics were like he had an inflated ego. He was kind of getting senile. He just... Um, he wants to help, but he was, you know, not helping whatsoever <laughs> kind of like a backseater if we're talking in twitch terms so um the main character i did enjoy the voice acting everyone's voice acting was uh, uh perfect especially the the child abductor that he was playing the innocent role like i said earlier um the side characters even though they were all suspects none of them like it kind of adds on to that none of them seemed to be a um the one to do the deed if that makes sense like none of them sounded like they were the one who held charlotte captive like um the game wanted us to think it was shirley but and in some ways i did think it was shirley but she would have to have a, a motive to really convince me that she took it uh took the the, uh, the kid right but i don't know i think the story was well done i'm okay with the plot twist i'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a four and here's the reason because these kind of games if we look at it if we take a step back and look at this kind of game right it is basically a murder mystery and if you don't, and murder mysteries once you play the game and you find out who's responsible and who's guilty it's kind of hard for any replayability the only way I can think of fixing that or solving that issue is to have multiple endings that's the I, I need another i need a i need a chill beat please thank you <laughs> that was a little bit too fucking hype um i think if this game had multiple endings it would it would have been it would allow a more replayability um and that goes for every murder mystery to be honest like if it had multiple endings like if if you can go this way with the story have this one get you know be the suspect and get arrested like, if they just rolled with Shirley getting arrested, like, I would have been pissed, right? I would have been pissed, but it would have made me want to go back and fix some, uh, some choices and, you know, figure out who the real culprit was. But, um, I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 5. I think they did very well. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Um, the plot twist, I was not expecting, so that's a plus. 4 out of 5. Gameplay. For a story narrative game, this one was different. 
different in the sense of it had layers to the gameplay. It wasn't just walking around. Like, it, it, it had that. You walk around, you inspect a few items, write that shit down, and then you use it later on against somebody, right? But we're talking about... When I say it has layers, it has like the, the whole rear window camera segment. There, I, I was expecting to be more camera segments with uh, Conway having the camera. You take control of them and look around the neighborhood. I was expecting more of that. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I, I was expecting more. But we have the camera segments. We have the walking around and gathering clues. We have the detective segments on the, on the bulletin board where we connect the dots. We have mini games like lock picking cutting uh a rope on a certain or on a certain thing in the room um pry opening drawers like we had a lot of little little mini games i was not expecting uh when i came into this game i was expecting like just a whole life is strange ideal right i hate to bring that game up but if there was more games like life is strange i would not be comparing it to that but um it is what it is but it had so many layers to the gameplay, and if you really love detective games, maybe even puzzle games, I would highly recommend this one. Like, highly, highly recommend this one. They did a great job. Now, I was glad they put the hint, the hint system in here, because if they didn't have that, we would have been stuck here forever to the point where I would have broke and I would have looked it up anyways. So, I'm glad there was a hint system for dumbasses like me, but if I really, really wanted to invest my time into trying to connect the dots and trying to put the correct clues together that is very well done and i like how they handled that i like the game design behind that um the game forces you to think on your feet um or ass since you're uh, in a wheelchair the entire game um i don't know it makes you think it makes you like, throughout the game, I'm over here gathering, like, predictions and, like, where this is gonna go. Like, different theories on who kidnapped the, the Charlotte May. I liked it. I, I will say, I mentioned this during the playthrough. But, uh, going back to Conway's character, I think he's very, um... Jumping to conclusions. That, that part annoyed me a little bit, but it wasn't something I would, uh uninstall or all f4 to but i will say if there is a sequel to this game relax okay maybe we'll get to play as a daughter but like i need i need people to stop jumping to conclusions okay like chill all right the words a little yachty chill we nothing is conclusive yet we need evidence all right and him being a private investigator you think he would be more patient you know what i mean Anyways, um, now, little nitpicks of the, the gameplay, I will say, um, I wish there was a faster way to travel, to traverse, uh, to travel around. Like, I know Conway's in a wheelchair, but you could have added a sprint button where he rolls the wheels on the chair a little bit faster. And especially when you get stuck on a certain on a certain corner and the camera angle refuses to pan that direction if you ha if I had a sprint button I could have got out of it a lot faster instead of or they're trying to figure out how to get out of it instead of going back to the main menu and reloading it um, I, I feel like a sprint key is always welcome I feel like that should have they should have put that in there but that's the only nitpick I have with it everything else on on it, it was good it was great and for that i'm gonna give gameplay a five out of five it was fantastic um perfect in my eyes to be honest now the game is 30 bucks and this is i i have a confession i really don't buy games at full price i never do i rarely do and this is one of those cases so i actually have a um, I actually have, like, I actually bought this game full price, so I, I have an idea now. Like, usually when I say this is 30 bucks, but I bought it for, like, 5 bucks, and I'm trying to, like, put myself in the shoes of actually buying it for 30 bucks, no. I actually bought this full price for 30 bucks, and for how long I spent my time, or how long I spent in the game, 
I would say it's absolutely worth it. If you, like I said before, if you're into detective puzzle games, like I feel I don't I have I can't speak for those who play Sherlock Holmes because I haven't played it yet. But if it's anything like that, if it's anything like that, and this, or if it's anything like this, pick it up. And uh, it's a small game, you know. It's I think they're an indie company. I don't think anybody was streaming this game uh, in the Twitch category. I would say, you know, if you support the devs, buy it at full price. If it does go on sale, go ahead and grab it, I guess. But I would recommend paying full price for it. I think 30 bucks is a perfect price for this game. Um, I don't know. I think it's, it's just right, the right price mark. You know what I'm saying? And if you, you know, if since we're buying the game at full price, you know, it's giving the devs a little more a little more of a push to get a sequel out there or to get you know to get more amazing games like this this was heavily slept on very underrated and with that said if i would have to give it an overall score we are looking now if the plot went a certain direction it could have tarnished it but i'm gonna stick with my original rating a nine out of ten that's pretty fucking high. That's pretty fucking high for me. 9 out of 10. Stamp it. Sign it. Conway, The Disappearance of Dolly of You. There it is. I enjoyed my time. And, um... I don't know what to play next, to be honest with you. So we're gonna be... VOD boys, you're not gonna be able to see this, but we're gonna be jumping back to the wheel of fortune because i have two games in mind that i do want to play right now but i can't pick between them so if you until that next playthrough that i pick on the on the wheel of fortune i'm super Majin kev